got what, like 14 hours ahead of us? I said midnight. midnight. Alright, Mark says midnight, well now we got that on record. It's like 3.15 right now. You want to put bet on it? Some money? No, we won't be in by midnight. Uh, we won't be in by midnight. Alright, so we're in, uh, we're in New Hampshire now and uh, I don't know, let the fun begin. So it's 12.34 a.m., 34 minutes past our bet earlier. It's actually 1.37. 1.37? <laughs> yes. What? What? This thing's wrong? <laughs> oh, you know what? It's still in Central Time. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is the stir craziness. Uh, Alright, so uh, we're on our trek. Absolutely. They're looking back. Because our car in there. Hopefully, all the tow trucks are being used to put people out. Coming cards out of, out of huge mud pits. I don't want to hear this. There's no options that we have to turn people away. Um, even people who have spent, you know, so much time trying to get tickets, and Hold up there. people are driving here from all over the place, and, and, and we understand that, and we, we so appreciate that people want to, you know, have this experience with us, but. There's, because of Mother Nature here, there's nothing that we can do. And what we want to say is that um, if you hold on to your tickets, and of course, we'll refund um, the money for anyone who wants a refund. And we're also going to brainstorm some way that we can make up. Um, are they not having the concert? For all the, the uh, effort that you've taken to try to come here and, and um, some people away. I don't know if they're still having the show have this or not. experience with us. What I want to do now is I want to turn the microphone here over to Sergeant Melendi, and he's going to explain some things about the situation. Thanks. And again, from the bottom of my heart, and I speak for the other band members, I'm really sorry. Thanks, Mike. This is Sergeant Bruce Melindy of the Vermont State Police. Uh, due to the severe weather, we have had to make a decision that we're going to need to turn people around. It's been a very difficult decision to make. We appreciate your cooperation and patience. We know you've been waiting in traffic for a long time. We appreciate you listening to the bunny and keeping the left lane of the interstate open and keeping other roads open so emergency vehicles and local traffic as well as crew traffic can get through. Unfortunately, there's just no place to put you at this point in time. We've explored many possibilities. we looked at other fields in the area. They are just as wet as the fields where we've been parking people, which are currently underwater. We've looked at a local gravel pit and busing people in. There just is no other option at this point in time but to turn you around. This was a decision made with the band. We spent countless hours during the day into the night and the early morning hours right trying to come up with a What's plan. Gonna happen? And this is the best plan we can come up with. This plan is being done in the interest of public safety. We understand you've been sitting in traffic for a long time. We do not want to make you sit in traffic any longer and then still have to tell you that you have to turn around and you're not going to be able to Let's come to ahead, the concert. Man. So please That's cooperate it. with us. I'm going to my car, fucker. law enforcement officers that will instruct you on how to get around and where to go to where you told to get out of here as this. quickly right. and safely as possible. Once again, we apologize that we had to make this decision. We thank you for your cooperation. Please have a safe trip back to wherever you came from. Holy and shit. if you've been driving for a long time, been in your car for a long time, please pull over when you get an opportunity where it's safe and get yourself some sleep so you can make it home safely. 
thank you once again. God doesn't want fish to quit. <laughs> Moving on up. I mean, do we keep going or what? Oh, yeah. Uh, seriously? You think it's not going to go on? Look. It's okay. Go on. Yeah. They have people there, right? Yeah, there are oh, people yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Thousands. Yeah, there's fucking my buddies in there. My buddies in there. Probably 10 or 10,000 more in there right now. As far as I know right now, our, our car is like two tenths of a mile back that way. I know. What do you think? And it's like an eight mile dry, eight mile walk from here, so we have till Monday till our flights leave. Obviously, we can push them in, maybe. So we don't really have anything else to do. That's what I said. And we can't drive anymore, and they're not going to tow our car. Sure of that. How can they tow our car now? I love that. Yeah. You think? I don't think so. Either. There's no way. They're just going to yell a bitch, and they're just going to ignore them. <laughs> well, we already left our car, so. That's what everyone's gonna do. Parking lot will become the interstate will become the parking lot. People are just gonna be hiking in from everywhere. That's the only option. They just don't want people hiking on well, the roads. They said they have to turn people away. What if we walk in there on foot and they turn us away on foot? Then we just hitch a ride back to here. Yeah, there's no other option. Move on. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know. Try. Try. <laughs> Worst case scenario, my flight leaves on Monday, so. I don't blame you. I got nowhere to go. I mean, fish can't quit now. We're going to start seeing a lot of hikers. Hike it! Just the people that have tickets get to go do something else. I mean, it is possible that we can get to the gate and they won't let us in. What if more like 10,000 people got in? Good Be here. You saw you see him on the road. Yeah. <laughs> you got a shortcut. Wow, got a Told you. Yeah, this is brilliant. This is fucking great. Three mile hike that way. Yeah, it's like a ten mile hike that way, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Word. Everybody's going that way. Yeah, all right. Thank you.